back. Motivational Monday. So what am I going to talk about today? Today, I'm going to talk about when you have a task or maybe you're living in a situation where it's just so overwhelming, whatever it is that's, that's happening in your life and you are completely overwhelmed to the point where you don't even know where to start. So I have a couple little tips to help you with that. And basically, my advice is break it down into smaller tasks. So, for example, if I go into a huge house or a house that is extremely messed up, um, I find a place to start. And usually I have an order where I do things. So it's usually top to bottom, left to right, um, but not always. Sometimes uh, I may decide to pick up all the trash, then make all the beds, then clean all the mirrors, then clean all the toilets. Um, but look, look at, if you have to get it done in a short amount of time, look at the task and break it down into small sections. Or even, like in your mind, create a box in, your, in that little space. So you say, this is the first three feet, we're gonna pick everything up here. And we're gonna throw it away, we're gonna put it in storage, we're gonna put it in the laundry, we're gonna put it where it belongs, or we're gonna make a pile. Or, you know, however you're going to organize it and clean that space out because there are times when I've gone into houses that were really bad, really bad, lots of trash, lots of debris and um, sometimes that's just what you have to do is break it down into little squares and start in that square and then once you're done with that one, not necessarily spick and span but at least manageable move on to the next one and then move on to the next one and move on to the next one and you can do that in a lot of different ways um, to break it down so let's just say maybe by the days of the week Monday you do the kitchen Tuesday you do the bathrooms Wednesday you do the laundry Thursday you you, you know you, you do the living area in the dining room and you can break it down by days and that way you're not cleaning the whole house all in one day or even in increments like there's a house that I clean and um, they have children and they're, they're teenagers and they're, they're living very busy lives. Now, granted, we've got COVID going on right now, so some of that busyness is confined to the house and some of it's been taken away. Um, but one of, when I started doing their house, COVID wasn't an issue and the girls' rooms were really pretty much wall-to-wall -wall stuff all different kinds of stuff projects and schoolwork and books and clothes etc and I had made a suggestion that you know if you take 10 minutes every night and clean off one surface or one area by the end of the week the whole room's gonna be straightened up and organized because they're not paying me to organize they're paying me to clean so and I don't touch certain things especially if it's something like a project I'll stay away from it unless you know we've discussed it but um, now that there's COVID and the kids are a little bored sometimes, especially kids who are really used to being very active, I'm noticing that these rooms are becoming much more organized. Mm -hmm. And I know it was just 10 minutes a week, the one girl, I talked to her a lot. She's a brilliant little girl. Well, she's not a little girl, she's almost a woman now. Um, but that's what she did. She took one spot of her room and over, um, well, it's two weeks between the times that I see them, but over a very short period of time compared to how long I've been cleaning for them, Everything's been managed and put away, and she's got a much more organized living space for herself. So, just taking little tiny minutes, little chunks of time, I say, throughout a you know a span of maybe a week or so, you can actually accomplish a lot. And then you know another thing, a lot of the, the reason why we're overwhelmed is because it was a lack of organization. So that's kind of what I'm talking about right now is being organized. So make a list you can make a list of things that you want to do a b c d you know and then go through that list and check it off there's some kind of satisfaction that comes with checking it off or writing a line through it knowing that you've got that thing done now you've only got six more things instead of ten you know and just that satisfaction of that another thing that i know some people do depends on how full your life is but or how disciplined you need to be get yourself a calendar and if you know that in the morning you're gonna do this, in the afternoon you're gonna do that, and then you have this space of time between, say, dinner and bedtime, that might be a good time to put in, you know, pick, pick up the living room or, you know, whatever the 
spot is that you want to tackle, put it in there and actually write it into your calendar. This is my house cleaning time. Um, here's another one. Um, brain cramp, I had a little brain cramp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're talking about, oh, 20 minute tasks, okay? Set yourself a timer, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. Set a timer so you know that when that timer goes off, you're done. Do what you can do during that period of time, like slam it out hard, 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 hard. You're gonna work really hard, not just casually cleaning, but really slamming it out in say 20 minutes. You might get the whole room done before you even run out of time, depending on what it is you're trying to do. I mean, I can clean a bathroom top to bottom in 15 minutes, an, an average size bathroom. A larger one would take a little bit more time, but yeah, you know. So 20 minutes, you can actually accomplish a whole lot in that amount of time. So just break things down into little spaces. That's really that's really the secret. If it's overwhelming for you, take little pieces or take a big job and break it down into smaller segments of time or task or area, whatever it is. That that'll help. Okay? If you have any other questions, please put them down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I want some thumbs up. Thumbs ups help me a lot. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.